Hi, it's Hazel. <clears throat> Excuse me. And welcome to my channel. I uh, am doing the hashtag follow up Friday. That is something uh, that was started by Kim Newberg. And I love the concept so much uh, that um, I, of course, asked her if I could, you know, hop on board with that. Um, so I'm going to show you some some things that I've obviously done since, um, you know, past videos. But I also wanted to just begin with this little clipboard that I keep near my desk. Now, I uh, this was a freebie that Kim put in her coffee shop. And essentially, it is a template for a bingo card. And there were several iterations of how you could print it, you know. I think this was the two up option. So two on a page, on a standard piece of paper. I did it on this sort of creamy, marbly um, card stock. And I love the idea. Now, sometimes in the throes of creating and making videos and trying to stay ahead of the uh, the game, I forget to add things on. But I'm so pleased with what I have here so far. So I just wanted to remind you that if you haven't grabbed this freebie, you should do so. That's my advice, my suggestion. And um, just sort of add things to it as you will. You can see I kind of have a color scheme going here. <coughs> and as much as, well, you, you know what your craft room lo looks like. I know what my craft room looks like. So even though I have this really handy and near me, um, there are, there's so much visual stimulation here that sometimes I forget to look that way and see what's here. So anyway, this is also a reminder to me that keep adding items. And if you don't want to take the time right then and there to glue things down, well, just if you use something like this, just, you know, paper clip it or whatever to um, to do when you have a few items to add. Anyway, that was just a quickie reminder. Now, this next thing. I cannot tell you how much I loved this idea. Loved, continue to love, present tense. Um, so I'll show you... <coughs> <clears throat> what happened after I stopped making that video? <coughs> Excuse me. I said in the video that every so often you get, you know, of course, we all have subscriptions. I think I have, well, probably close to 300 people I've subscribed to. Anyway, there's also suggestions that come up in the feed. Well, one of them was, uh, again, mixed feelings about the thing, but whatever, that's my issue, uh, mindless crafting. And the host is Tracy. I haven't watched a, a great number of her videos, but the ones I have seen were good. And hey, her 178,000 subscribers can't all be wrong. So get your butt over there and check it out. Anyway, I won't re redo the, the uh, video. I mean, I won't summarize it all because you do need to go look, look at it. Look at hers, look at mine. Anyway, these are the things that I created based on my first attempt. So let's call this a tag, a tag, a little, I never really think of doing these things, <clears throat> but the shape lent itself to it. So I just modified it added faux stitching. So this would be a pocket. And again, these are bases. They probably need some completion. And then these are, I feel like I'm dealing cards. This feel, <laughs> these are fussy cut. Uh, whoopsie. Need a little repair. Um, these are fussy cut flowers out of that master board. So in a nutshell, uh, she proposed a new way of doing masterboards. 
And for those of us, cover up your glue, for those of us who love doing master boards anyway, <laughs> we who needs another reason? But clearly this was a good reason to, to try something new. Okay, so I these were kind of the subject of my video as I um, commandeered that idea. So I was hooked. <clears throat> you know that I'm also working on a blush journal. So I just kept on going. Now I realize... Okay, let's try to keep these intact. So I then did these. So I used new stamps, a new stencil. And the only way I can tell that these came off the same page is those, um, that stencil. I think I might have mixed up a couple. Okay, here's another one. Here's an, whoops, here's another one. Because I went nuts and I did, I think, three more, two or three more sheets. Okay, so here, the way this stamp worked out, because I mean, tall, skinny, I, these could be belly bands or uh, side tucks or whatever on taller pages. I won't bother digging out my ruler to see what size they are, but I kind of left them open. And if I had to trim top or bottom, that's doable in most cases. So I also did, well, and I rounded corners. I didn't do any inking or anything. I made, so the rest are all journaling cards. Now this one could probably be, I mean, and they're just bases. Clearly they need some more work to them, but um, in a pinch, they could also just be used as is. So kind of, this so this all this came out of one eight and a half by eleven. Um, okay, so that's those. I should probably clip these things together now that I've shown you. That way, I I keep them intact. Um, this was a bit of a mixed bag here. Again, I tried to use my little paper. This keeps curling up here. Um, I tried to use different stamps, and so I fussy cut some of these girls with their runaway hair. If there was a third one, yes. And you can see that there's that blush underlying theme. Uh, another card like that. I had these dresses, again, really easy to fussy cut. I also... How are we doing for how how can what can you see here? Okay, that's in screen. Um, the ease of fussy cutting obviously is important, and I take the extra step to cut out that that little white space. Um, the teapots are really cute. I think a couple more teapots. Um, uh, I found, and I don't know what the problem is, but the, the, uh, set that these dresses came from, uh, I think these, could these typewriters have been on, these didn't want to stamp worth a darn, but I'm not about to, you know, throw out the baby with the bathwater, so that can, but here are, here are these two uh, typewriters. Even they are pretty cute. Now I could cover that with something. I could um, touch it up with my purple Sharpie. I could just, I could keep it kind of, you know, looking a bit, um, what's the word? You know, I, I don't want to pretend that this, try to redraw the whole stamp, but I can, you know, I can, for instance, I could go around some of the keys. 
and just make them look a little more distinct. It's almost like mark making. Well, I guess it is mark making. It's not like mark making. So, you know, there are possibilities even if something has stamped poorly. And again, there's always the possibility of, you know, just covering with something. I don't want to get too carried away here because this is just an update video and because I don't want to accidentally make a mark on my beautiful anaglypta wallpaper here. So, again, as I've said, they are bases. And this piece was just something that had no real stamping on it. But still, it could it's the start of something. So, let me gather these guys up. I should probably put some of these things under a weight just to flatten them out a bit more. Okay, and then perhaps, this was the second page that I had done, and this is perhaps my favorite of all time. This perfume bottle. Is that not the most beautiful thing you have ever seen? Oh, and here are a couple of fussy cut peonies. I also kind of like this Argyle stamp that I used here. Now, these I left as they were um, as possible pockets. Let me just see what you can see. Okay, maybe I better. I just love these. Then, some of them were... Oh, I fuss, oh, clearly I fussy cut those. But then there were a bunch that kind of just be, naturally seemed to want to be uh, cards. Or they could be side tucks. But, you know, it's a beautiful stamp to begin with. And all the colors that I used in the master board just, like... I was hooked. I guess that <laughs> is probably self-evident. Anyway, you will see some of these things end up in the blush journal. Obviously, these little guys could just be, they could, well, they're, they can't be a tab because they're, they're identical, but um, they could be, you know, used to decorate something. Um, because these guys are fairly rigid, they could even be side tucks. I mean, I don't know. I'm guessing at this point. I have so much ephemera made or started for those uh, plural blush journals that... Oh, and here's something. This was a scrap piece. So did I throw it away? No, I didn't. I better keep it with this. So I just wanted to come on and show you that. I hope that you um, are enjoying these follow-up Friday videos um, because I think it sort of um, closes the circle a bit on, you know, some of the things that have been started and, and then you get to see how they, they turn out. Now, quite often, I do have the presence of mind to take photos. I did take photos of these master boards before I cut them up. Now I just need to remember to post them to Instagram on the right day. Um, speaking of posting things, I need to post it on my forehead, I think, to remind me to post more regularly on Instagram. So maybe what I miss there, I'll be able to capture um, on with these sorts of, with the hashtag follow up Friday. Either way, the best way to know what I'm doing. Oh, another thing I could do. Ah, another thing I could do is post them in my coffee shop in the gallery. And that way... Um, 
it isn't necessarily tied to, you know, a particular day on the calendar. It's there, whoops, it's there to look at whenever you want to. And if you haven't already um, checked out my coffee shop, you really should. Uh, I mean, it's not old by any stretch of the imagination. So I only have probably two or three freebies on there as well, or so far. Uh, I have some digitals there that are not posted to Etsy, so that's worth checking out, as well as my monthly membership group, which is called Words and Pictures. And in that, um, anyone who becomes a member gets access to a digitized version of one of my original pieces of art. And it will vary from month to month. The first one was a watercolor. The second one was a grouping of small acrylic paintings that I had uh, thrifted and then totally upcycled. And I think March is probably going to be some doodles uh, that can be used, I guess, however you want to. Anyway, so it's definitely worth following, um, becoming a follower on the coffee site, coffee shop page. And um, let's see. Oh, it may all be, it may already have happened. But being a follower is also a prerequisite for entering my birthday um, giveaway doohickey blah 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 which I haven't yet taped so cart before the horse um anyway thanks so much for being here and um yeah I'll see you guys in uh, the next one bye